Every year, tens of thousands of women, men, and children experience brutal sexual violence in areas of armed conflict. Dozens of girls, some as young as 18 months old, were raped during a three-year reign of terror in the village of Kivumu in the Democratic Republic of the Congo. The role of PHR and its experts was to provide technical and logistical support. In these extreme cases, it's difficult to document and gather evidence of these crimes. Another challenge was the horror, the horror of the situation. We bring together doctors, nurses, police, lawyers and judges in these communities and train them to gather forensic evidence that results in prosecutions. How can we build accountability if we are missing adequate evidence? We mobilize this professional network to collaborate with the families, the community, and the government. The hurdles were immense to achieve investigation and prosecution for these horrific crimes. PHR innovated important protections for survivors. Covered head to toe, witnesses testified, their voices disguised. PHR experts and local police analyzed data on cell phones. And local clinicians alongside PHR conducted forensic exams which yielded indisputable medical evidence of these crimes. <laughs> A military court convicted 11 men for crimes against humanity. Every sector did its part to support the victims and their families to achieve justice. When I learned the verdict, I felt so much pride. We were able to see justice done. It's a wonderful feeling. Physicians for Human Rights will continue to innovate and bring critical and compelling evidence to the pursuit of dignity and justice. Mm -hmm.